guess what? You know in the movie? It's a shell door. It'll crack. Listen. Okay, have you ever heard of makeup? Okay, she can put a little thing whenever she... Because she's going in public. If she's getting naked in public on commercials for TV, she has to hide it. So maybe she has a little masking tape. Are you saying the fucking yellow M&M doesn't have a wiener? Yeah. Yes. yes oh, but he's a man, though. So where does he... Very interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, isn't it that they wear their clothes? Or, or... Isn't it that they wear or, their clothes? Or, isn't it that it's fictional? Oh, and by the way, it's not the skin because someone's like, isn't that your skin? What's the word? She's like, no. I think maybe clothes. because it's voiced by a male who does the voice and then that's animated. fucking hot <laughs> well that's the difference right? you know what yeah I would absolutely I would fuck the shit out of her mouth with no yes. teeth with no I'd teeth. take her out on a date and shit. we'd have a beautiful and then dish she's eyes a while everybody in the restaurant is screaming, screaming. It's like, so what's it like being Emma? And she's like, I'm horny all the time. The fucking child. Is that what she's like, Corey? She is super horny. How do you know she's not a fucking... fucking Are you kidding me? She's a poster girl. She's always getting fucked. She's super fucking horny. She's such a slut. What are you basing this off? Her fucking evidence. Anytime you see her, she's the sexy M&M. No. Go to Google, type in green M&M, and everything you will see will make you horny. Okay, I'm going to do it right now live on this fucking podcast. Okay. Okay, green M... N M. All right, done. Uh-huh. Spell oh, M and M. Whoops! Yeah. Surprise. Oh my God, dude. There's pictures of her. Okay. This Holy is... shit. Well, there she is zipping down. Look! Look at that. It's like so innocent. Horny. Look horny. At that. Horny. Look at that chin. Look! Look! She's fucking gangbang. Are you telling me just because she's a female, she's no? Hot? She's fucking hot, dude. Oh, what Man, about that horny. one? What about that one, Corey? <laughs> Holy. That's she's on a guy. skateboard, looking like a retard. That guy has. That, that's a guy in him. He doesn't count. He is down. Keep, 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 keep going. Why? Why? Horny. That's horny. That's standards. Hey, no, it is. I have, Nile, I have fucking options. Holy go shit, scroll up. up. What about this guy? Nile, scroll up. Back up. Scroll up. No, go to the top. Look. Change the search. <laughs> go down. Add, add, you have green MM. Now grab, add fucking. Fucking. Or sex. See, if I write rule, rule 34. Sex. But I don't co- think you finished your sentence. But rule 34, the definition of rule 34 is that if there can be porn made of Look it, at it, that shit. Made of it. Click, a, click it. Do you have yeah, safety sh- mode on? That is disgusting. Look at that. So truthfully, it doesn't... That is absolutely hideous to me. That is terrifying. Look at those fucking legs. That is terrifying. You wouldn't fuck that. Look at those peanuts. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> look at them. I'm going to put all these in the description, by the way. <laughs> fucking go ahead. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Do you have you safety mode on? That's your problem. You're a fucking proof. No, I have safety mode off. You really I know. Butt, I, I don't like, like green see, M&M's The butt. only option I have here is filters. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry I that you wouldn't some actual sex candy, would but that's... Be there. No, it's because it's she's not fuckable. She doesn't... You have, have to type in rule 34. I, if, there, if it doesn't exist, I'm going to fucking make it. All right, it. we're going to go to Bing here, guys. I'm going to fucking make it right now. I go to Bing. When I get back, I'm going to skip something up. Fuck that. Now, I'm sorry that we've put you on the spot. What do you find attractive? Uh, what f- female you humans. Old ladies with raggedy ass teeth. No, female humans that are I find attractive. Okay, so there is. Oh shit! Holy shit! Yes. Yeah, sh- okay. Okay. Look let, at that. Let me describe these. Okay. Let me describe all these one by one. All right. Oh, okay. Babe. So the first one, she's big. Look at that. No. Show. No. Click that. Click that one. Show stupid. She's okay. So this is <laughs> this is a meme that says deal with it. It doesn't matter. Up. Look at that shit. Look at that. And how is that attractive, Stamper? <laughs> How is that attractive? She's getting fucked in chocolate that is ripped off her greenness. She That's asked like, for it. She fucking peeled it herself. Kyle! Would she's you an M&M! <laughs> what do you expect when you put your dick in it? Why would you put a dick in your M&M is my fucking point! Why would you put your dick in an M&M? <laughs> Holy fuck! No, you cannot be serious with this shit. Okay, uh, Corey, if you... Okay, so you're eating a packet of M&M's. You bought the packet of M&M's. There's a green one. Do you go, mmm? It's not anthropomorphic. Yeah, but do you think of it anthropomorphic? Would you go, mmm? I would love to. I don't eat candy. Yeah, you know, I don't really eat M&M's. <laughs> what? At home, we got a jar of green M&M's, and every day we stick our dick in it. Just yeah. kind of let it sit there for Is that the same jar like I ate from the yep. other day? Yep. Little, exactly little the tiny day. green yep. M&M's. They just flutter around my yep. cock, and they make magic happen. <laughs> you shake the jar around. <laughs> No, you just don't get it. You just don't. No, look, I no. get, I get. No, 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 stop, no, stop. Go back to your it. safe world where everything's nice. No, no, no. I get, I get hint. I, I even get tentacle. No, you don't. No, you because don't. they're being you penetrated. Don't. I don't get green M and M's. Yo, she looks like okay. she's getting pretty penetrated. <laughs> she, there. she looks like she's getting fucking. All right, let me explain this dude, picture, okay? It's, totally it's okay. a guy. It, it's a cartoon of a guy standing up, putting his dick. Okay, she has a ripped shell where her pussy would be probably and he's fucking her in the chocolate part of that it's, and a pair of you're gonna put the fucking picture in it Niall I will put the chair you just I will said put, you were gonna and then a, there's a there's this really funny part a part of the picture where it ruins everything where it's a fucking twitch meme okay if that if that wasn't there would you jack off to that maybe 
I could jack off to Here, that. Go back though. There's better images than that. There's better. Man, I could do a fucking better than that. Not being arrogant. No, you could. Like, you could definitely. You could definitely make a hotter picture of a green M&M. Dude, M&M. I'm gonna do it. I know you could. I, it's it's a it's a fact. I'm doing it when I. <laughs> yeah, you have to because I don't I'm understand. I'm fucking doing it. You need to make me understand because these aren't making Dude, me understand. Dude, green M&M. Look how fucking this, look how hideous. Look how. Fu- what is that? Hideous. What is that? That's a green M&M with titties. It's not even an M&M. And a That's dick. That's like one of those fucking mouths. Look at that shit. She has fucking balls that are also M&Ms between her legs. That's not, that's chocolate. You can suck on it. What is that? That's you not even an M&M, You Corey. can suck on an indiscreet chocolate. But it's not an M&M. Why do you have a problem? Why have you seen an M&M? suck it on a chocolate ball. Have you ever seen an M&M with chocolate titties? Dick. Chocolate salty balls. You ever think about that? Have you ever seen an M&M Southwest with titties? said it first. Have you ever seen an M&M with titties? This podcast brought to you by M&M's. It melts in your mouth, <laughs> not in your hands. <laughs> That was the Green M&M. Join us next time on Sleepy Cast. I'm a go ride on my enemies like the punk ass niggas they are. Peace out. This is a Sleepy Cast Lost episode by the Morphin Shitty Jobs, featuring Stamper, Psychic Pebbles, Johnny Utah. Oni and Spaz Kid. My name is Captain Dickhead. My penis is curly like a pigtail. You can pull it forward and it springs back into place. Talk about shitty jobs, work. Anyways, one time I worked a shitty job. Wow, what a cool topic to talk about. Shut up. Put that in there, it's a good segue. Alright, let's talk about shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. No. Let's talk about jobs we've had. Okay, me being what I am, I've only had one job, and that job was working on the phones at a Scholastic Toy Selling. And what are you, Corey? I was a phone solicitor, and I sold toys. (laughs) Did people hate you? Oh, man. I sold toys to, like, helpless old ladies, and let me just tell you how diabolical we were. People, these old ladies, these chirp old ladies would call us up, and they'd be like, I want a dollhouse for my granddaughter, and I'd be like, okay. Uh, I'll be five hundred dollars because you're shipping from Canada, and we charge like thousands of dollars from Canada for dollhouses. And we we told them like, oh, we make them with real American cherry wood, and all we did was make them in fucking factories. But it's like, it oh, was were they real American cherry wood in factories though? No, it was fake wood. But we told them like, yeah, well. We'll give you that, but basically, it, it's kind of like, you know, when you trust the toy, like a, a bookstore, like Scholastic sells books and fucking old people know about books all the way back because yeah. Scholastic's been around forever. Yeah. They sell toys, and so, since they already trust the bookstore, they don't feel like going to Toys R Us, so they call up um, Scholastic, so like, hey, can, uh, we need toys, so I would work on the phones for toys, and I did that, and the pay was shit, but it was like... Working on the phones is horrible because I had this one bitch who would loom over my shoulder and fucking egg me for anything I do. So I'd, I'd talk to all these old people who have fucking hearing aids, so I have to be on the phone. I'm like, excuse me, um, and she's like, I can't hear you, Sonny. I'm like, ah, oh, can you hear me? And then the person would go over and she'd be like, screaming, you're interrupting the whole entire place. Um, if you didn't say please a certain amount of time, they would call you into the office and talk about how you should have said please and thank you like 60 more fucking times. And you would get graded, and if you got like a C, you wouldn't get like extra things. You're supposed to check your fucking thing for special deals, but regardless, I had a bunch of people who call in all the time, like crazy shit. I had this one woman call in, she was so fucking mad at me because we had like China imported shit, and she's like, what are you, a communist? A communist corporation? You put fucking bombs in your toys? Can we say that? The bomb? Yeah. Just don't say, I'm going to kill Barack Obama, the president. Just don't say that, you'll be fine. Okay. She's like, will you put that? I'm going to kill with a rifle. What are you, will you bomb? Will you putting shit into the toys, uh, bombs into the toys? They're like, no. We're fucking, is my story boring? It's too tired. long. It it's too long. long. Yeah. Well, What's okay, my history? shitty job is I worked on the phones and I talked to a bunch of old people. I can't hear. Oh, they're a precious dollhouse to her fucking eight-year-old daughter who's going to fucking break it down the ste- flight of stairs. Okay. <laughs> I like telling long stories. So Corey works for a company where he sold jacks and dollhouses and shit to people. Over yeah, the a bunch phone. of like old people who fucking bought like baseball flags and stupid shit that nobody buys anymore. 
Slipper, what was your shitty job? I did telemarketing for a while. I sold timeshares. Oh, really? Like Breckenridge, Colorado. Did you feel like a douchebag? Or just cause it's like- I did. Because you'd have to call people up and you knew that you were just bothering them. Yeah. You'd catch people during dinner and they'd be totally pissed. And I could only sell to women. Really? Did what? you? And then their boyfriends would pick up the phone and be like, she's not interested and hang up. <laughs> I don't know. Not to sound sexist or anything, but maybe dudes are more just, they, they could pick up bullshit easier or whatever. <laughs> Girls see vacations and happier times lying ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 90% of my sales were to women, and guys would just... What did you say to convince them? What did you say to, like, rap them You used to sell, like, vacuums hey, and shit. Hey, yes. slut, you want a ton of shit? You would sell, like, overpriced fluid vacuums that well, cost, like, $300. Me and Jeff both sold door-to-door, -door, but, um... Really? I didn't the, know. I, I have a story about that. For, uh, the telemarketing. Almost, thing. I, yeah, I it was just the, the timeshares. And <clears throat> what is a timeshare? It's essentially a vacation house that you share with other people at different times of the year. Oh, okay. And I didn't sell many. And it was the first time that anyone's ever called me a scumbag <laughs> in real life and actually meant it. Because <laughs> there's this guy, and I was like, hey, I'd like to say, he's like, is this a fucking telemarketer? <laughs> And I was like, well, I'm, I'm a salesman trying to, and he's like, put your manager on the phone. I looked around because normally they monitor calls, and I looked around to see if he was like, had his earpiece in and he was monitoring the calls, and I didn't see him anywhere. Yeah. And he was like, put your manager on the phone. And I was like, nope. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. He was like, oh, you scumbag. And I was like, yep. And then I held up the phone. And then the whole thing started like so professionally. And then I just turned into a fucking kid at the end of it. Like, not only did I bother him during whatever the hell he was doing, but then I treated him like an asshole. He and it hung up. It's it. And that's, you know, it's just like no caller ID. He can't it's call back. That's, he, he's probably still pissed off to this day. It's that I, I, the fuck, it's, I worked at Arby's when I was like 17 or 18. And I went to clean out the, you know, they'd say, hey, go pick, go do the toilets. And then I'd go right back and do the fries. <laughs> So I'd walk back and fucking have my hands dripping with feces and fucking stuff and go handle the fries. <laughs> really? And the yeah. some guy ate your sandwich and was like, oh, yeah. you fucking He's scumbag. He's like, yeah, you fucking scumbag. This beef tastes like shit. I was like, well, surprise. Guess <laughs> what? Guess what else I do? No, but uh, it was always sad to me because I would see these big fat fucks bringing their little fat fuck kids. And I get really bummed out. It's really depressing to see that. Because the kids don't really know any better. You know what's most depressing about that? Is that it was Arby's. Arby's is garbage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Arby's sucks. Exactly. Like, everyone's like, oh, you work at McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it's McDonald's. really? It's like, I mean, at least it's good. Yeah. Like, you can't. Wendy's or something. It's like, oh, you, <laughs> you go to McDonald's and you can get, like, fucking, like, six burgers for six dollars. You go to Arby's, you spend seven dollars for a shitty well, fucking sandwich. It always kind of blows my mind when people are like, oh, yeah, he works at McDonald's. They, they make fun of the occupation. But yeah. then they eat there at lunch, yeah. and it's like you can't do that, man. If you're gonna hate McDonald's, hate it all the way. Still, don't go be there. selective about Boycott it. Boycott like, completely. You know, my friend works at McDonald's. What a fucking loser! Loser. I'll have a number one. <laughs> please, <laughs> give me a break, dude. Do you have to give a story about door to door? I'll tell you. Like, yeah, when I was basically desperate for money um, after college because I was trying to be a freelance illustrator, and that's a little bit harder than uh, you'd imagine. I. Uh, I saw this ad in the newspaper said like it's for like it didn't tell you what it was. It said it was twelve dollars an hour. That's the same thing that happened to me too. They trick you. This whole thing is the most such trickery going on. And Did you? Have a, yeah, sorry. go ahead, go ahead. It, it, it might tag on, but my friend said like he had a if he sold <clears throat> like the the, sh the shitty floor cleaner, he would get an extra like money boost on his fucking thing. I think he would get the say something like this. It was like guaranteed twelve dollars. But an nobody hour. wants to buy a six hundred dollar fucking floor cleaner. So. Yeah, so like the people, they're called uh, Cutco, and they sell... No, you should actually clarify that. Anybody listening needs to be very wary of ads yeah. for jobs. Yeah. My daughter door shit said something like, hey, you want to be a rock star? You want to do this and this and this? No, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> great. Yeah. 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 It was just the most, this well, was the most bizarre Edward? job interview thing I've ever gone on in my life because it's a, like, a master class in like, brainwashing potential employees. Basically, Cutco is a company known for selling high-end knives. And the way they do this is it's like a little pyramid scheme. They basically hire people for, in, like, college or students. They give them a set of knives. They go from, like, door to door or go to friends' houses and, like, pity, you know, make, make the people feel sorry for you. And you sell them these knives, which are, like, go for, like, $400 a set. You can buy an individual knife for, like... 80 bucks. Oh, well, 80 like, for one knife? Oh, it's crazy. Really? 
Yeah, it's like, because they. Lied? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess you could say they're quality knives, but the whole way they go about this, because they, the first thing you do is you go in, you, you're answering the ad with a bunch of people all at the same time. You go in a room. There's yeah. like 40 of you. There's clearly. Like oh, this is ex- literally exactly right, what like, happened. It's, to so me. it's like it's like a room full of people, and there's like a dude at the front give you a presentation. You go to like a mysterious unlabeled yeah. building. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. You show up. You still don't know why you're there. This is like exactly how my friend fucking described it. And you're sitting in there. I'm sitting in there with a shirt and tie. I'm like, I'm all sad because I don't have any fucking money. I have, I have like antifreeze running out of the tailpipe of my car, and I don't even know fucking why. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I just, I just need some money. I'm freaking. I'm having panic attacks because I have no money. So you're sitting in a room with, all, and they, they, there's some, there's students. There's very shady people in there that look very des- more desperate than me. They look borderline homeless. Yeah, yeah. And then a guy comes out and he says, "Yeah, welcome. This is a uh, Cutco. We we sell knives and various other things, various other products. But uh, for today's purposes, yeah, we we're interested in hiring some of you to sell our knives. And then he go. Then this is where like the the, the manipulation starts. He starts saying. Wait. What kind of knives are they? Like the Swiss Army knives? Or no, like, they're like, they're they're like, like kitchen, kitchen, kitchen cutlery. Kitchen cutlery. Uh, cutlery. Is that the right word? So he's like, he's like, listen, listen, uh, people. We are, we're not going to hire all of you today. We're looking for some special people. And, uh, you know, we're very specific because, you know, we're looking for some, we're looking for the right, the right yeah, person. Only the best. Yeah. Only the best. Only the best to sell so, knives. So, yeah. you know, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, geez, I'm well, I'm, I, I, I better, be I better yeah. smile this, I better smile today. I'm like every other day of my life. <laughs> and, uh, so he starts calling us in, uh, one at a time into his office. And, uh, after answering some really bland questions, he's like, well, you know what, uh, Jeff, I... I think you got it. I think you got the stuff to do this. Yeah, that's, you know, not to set you no, back, but that's yeah, exactly yeah. what happened with the telemarketing thing. He t- took me into a back room and he was like, read this paper. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, would you like to buy a, a timeshare in Breckenridge, Colorado? And he's like, you got the goods. <laughs> and I was just like, what the hell are you talking about? It's probably the worst yeah. reading I've ever done in my entire life. I guarantee they do that to fucking like everyone. This, all these guys telling us this shit, they start out we, we, where we were. They know the whole scheme bottom up. So, yeah, But like up. the people who are desperate for money, they're like, man, I'm going to get $12 for selling some fucking cutlery knives. <laughs> and I guess they do turn some of the grotier people away, but all the naive <laughs> Idiots, the mouth, they, the mouth for like me who don't know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A little mouth for There were some like clubbed feet get directed to a different door. <laughs> the fucking mutants who walk into a scrubber. Yeah, this is just a public call. You'll see everybody there. <laughs> the, and the thing is, the three headed ones get out of here. On the first day, like 40 <laughs> anonymous people show up to this room. And then the next time you go back, maybe only eight of them stuck around. I mean, this. What happened to the mutants? This happened like. 15 years ago or something, but I still remember clear as day. I was sitting in the lobby. I made friends with these two guys. One was like... I have a question. A wh- did, yeah. you, did, you, did a mutant ever get employee of the month? Anyway, yeah, I made friends with these <laughs> two other guys. One looked like he was in about 100 motorcycle accidents. He had scars like all over him, his face. And, so shit. We- and his other was a black guy who was wearing a shirt. You ever wear a shirt, a white shirt and tie, and you wear a colored t-shirt under it? Mm-hmm. Oh, so if you were, oh, you he was wearing a true. bright yellow t-shirt with yeah. like a logo on it under his shirt and tie. So yeah, so talking to these guys. And we all go, we, all, we, we graduated to the next phase of the, tell me this is getting boring, I don't know. No, it's good, know. it's good. It's we we graduated to the next phase of the, of the master plan to get us to sell the knives to housewives. Go in the next room, and uh, we're introduced to a new guy who looks like Henry Rollins, he looks like a cross between Henry Rollins and the fucking Sandman, or Sandman from fucking Marvel Comics, who's wearing like the stripes, the striped sweater. But he looks like Henry Rollins, so he's like, he comes out, he's like, He's even he's even a better salesman than the last guy. He's like, hey guys, you know, you know, you have you could you guys could have a real future here if you do a good job. And he show, he takes us into his office, and his entire office wall is covered in knives and broadswords and bigger broadswords, and, and they're all they're all etched with his name. And it's like employee of the month, employee of the month, like various months, employee of the year. He's in a fucking like medieval broadsword with like employee of the decade, his name on it. And we're like, oh shit, this guy, this guy's, this guy's good. good stuff. <laughs> this guy is selling Conan swords to somebody yeah, yeah. in the general vicinity that needs them. So the, the day just this this wrapped up, and he said, "Go home, come back tomorrow. We're gonna start your real, we're gonna start the real training tomorrow." So I come back the next day. My mom was already wary of this. She's like, 
She's like, she knew, she's like, yeah, this is, I don't think you, uh, Did you try to sell me your parents, too? No. No, this is the problem, because did I you grew, try to sell me your parents? I grew up in I the did. fucking country. <laughs> not to skip ahead, but yeah, they basically, at some point in the, in the, in this whole scheme, they're asking you to write down, like, 50 names of people that you know. Do you oh, know, try to Jesus. sell them out? Yeah, they I know like, immediately woke oh your family God. and friends down. Yeah. Dude, dude. So you start, yeah, and they they start playing these fucking games with you. They're like, they're they're like, all right, we're gonna pl- we're gonna uh, do some team building exercises. You know that shit where like you, fall you catch each other oh, and good. you have to like put your hands on everybody else's shoulders and like form a ring. Oh yeah. god, it's just weird games they're playing with you. And then 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 it gets, starts to get a little weirder. Now we're all, we're all sitting in a circle on wooden chairs, right? They're kind of they're almost like intentionally uncomfortable wooden chairs. So they, they downgraded you. No, they didn't. No, this is where we started. And uh, oh. over in the corner, there's some uh, padded chairs. And he's like, all right, people. Um, I want you to make a list of... He, he wanted us to make a list of 50 people we could eventually contact to sell knives. But he said, listen, pick out, pick out like the top five people, and I want you to cold call them tonight. And if you uh, can manage to... Whoever can manage to get the most... Uh, appointments by tomorrow because I want you to come back tomorrow and report back to me. Whoever gets the most appointments gets to sit in the padded chair. <laughs> oh. people. Everybody else gets to sit in the wooden chairs. Do you, do you know what's funny about this like situation? What's like, that? This, this story? My friend told me the exact same thing. He told me like it was like a, a, a leveling system where you eventually get to, oh, yeah. the, the cool room with all the drinks and stuff. Oh, it keeps going. <laughs> but it keeps going. He said, like, unfortunately, I was like, hey, dude, how did you do? He's like, I didn't try. It was too hard. Uh, I'll tell you the I'll tell you the whole brilliant. I'll tell you the brilliance okay. of the whole plan. But basically, it keeps going. So now he says, uh, I didn't go back the next day. I'll just cut ahead for a moment. But back <laughs> back to day two. Um, he said, and now he's like, listen, guys, I don't want to. Ex- I don't want to get your hopes up and get you all excited, but. I want to tell you some very exciting things about about what happens if you do well here. And we're like, oh, well. He's like, now listen, he's like, the more knives you sell, and he's like, when you start out, you're going to get a low percentage of the profits. But the more knives you sell, the higher percentage you're going to get. And he's like, if you, hey, if once, if once you sell 50 sets, now you start rolling in the money, guys. Now this is the good, now you're into the good stuff. He's like, and you know what happens then? He's like, at the end of the year, whoever sells the most knives, you want to know what happens? We, he's like, we rent you a limo. You get to go out on the town with some cash on us. Whoa. To go, go around, go around town, eat, have fun. Everybody's thinking, oh, well, this, this sounds good. Really? He's like, yeah, and he's like, and he's like, like, you get to take somebody, and we're like, a friend? He's like, he, he's like, no, he's like, no, you get to go with me, you and me together, <laughs> on the town. Holy <laughs> shit! Hey, bro, that's dude, really nice of him. Dude, yeah. cool. What was he cool? Like he's an asshole. He's no. Right? Did he have a sweet like Hawaiian he was, shirt? He was the most Ace Ventura get up. No, he looked like this is the Henry Rollins. He looks like Henry Rollins, but a salesman. He's like. He's just such a salesman. He's such a soulless salesman. He's like, guys, you get to go out in the town with me in a limo all night. Gee, I wonder why. Don't you? Don't you think that's great? <laughs> I mean, you're in and a limo, like, so you're just thinking, oh, a limo. Now at this point, now I, as some of you guys might might have realized, even earlier, even earlier in the podcast, when I'm not happy, I start making like faces, and I realize it. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> I said frowning. Sorry. I'm not very good at hiding. I'm not very good at hiding. So he calls me into his office. He's like, hey, uh, excuse me, what, uh, just what's your name, uh, Jeff? Uh, can, I, can I talk to you in my office? I'm getting reprimanded and I don't even fucking work there. <laughs> he calls me into his office with all the broadswords on the wall. Did he's he like, kill you? No, he's like, hey, listen, uh, listen. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, might be- Chris. He killed him. Cut your head off with his sword. He killed him. Let's do commentary, Chris. Sometimes we can see through Jeff. I was wondering. Yeah, no. Well, I was, I was, I was nervous. I was nervous because I don't like being yelled at. But he's like, listen, uh, could he see your people? I could swear that it seems like you don't want to be here. And I was so nervous because, like, a, I'm, I didn't like the confrontation at the time, and b, I needed the money. So I'm like, no, 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 I, I, I want to be here. You, you totally misjudged me. So because I don't know, because you didn't look, you look kind of unhappy out there, dude. Jeff. No, I want to party with yeah, you. Yeah, it's man. like, no, man, no, man. Listen, I, I can do this, and I said all this, and he's like, all right, well, uh, my mistake. And we went, we went back out there, and. Uh, 
he went through his whole spiel about saying how um, they'd usually give the knife sets away to new rec- the new recruits as like a uh, example set to show people. But he's like, well, you know, enough people start just taking them and leaving, and they don't come back. So we're gonna have to have you buy the set. Oh my! For a for the discount, oh. nice discount of three hundred dollars. <laughs> Holy when they're shit! They're normally like four hundred and fifty. How many knives are in the set? It's like a no, chef knife, like a, a dozen. It's like a basically, it's like a regular block of knives, like a. Do you have like? Block? Do you yeah, have like those knives like that. that like for like bread that you don't make anymore, and like stuff that you don't actually it's cut? It's like, like a fucking. Are you cutting like fucking lamb legs yeah, like, every night? You have to level up in like a fucking video game, even with the <laughs> knives you sell. You can't. You can't even sell all their all their products at day one. You have to earn it. He's like, after you earn, after you sell like five sets, then. You're allowed to sell the pizza cutter. You see this for <laughs> Then after that, you can sell the wooden block to put your knives in, but you can't sell them right off the bat. Did you see it was four hundred fifty for a dozen knives. You're gonna look like a fucking idiot it, it, coming up. It was up. around that. Yeah, it was four hundred fifty. You're gonna carry for that, a, like Tom Hanks. They're sp- a supposedly right? high quality. Could open coconuts. Well, you're gonna carry a do- you're gonna carry a dozen butter knives. So, like, listen, I need to upgrade to a fucking pizza cutter. Can you please? I don't buy know. My I, I, I knives? can't. I can't comment on the actual quality of the knives because they they did this whole demonstration where the the knives cut through thick leather high well, yeah, cut through a penny knives. and I'm like sitting there I'm like when the fuck are you going to need to cut through a penny <laughs> but let alone but the knives did it they cut through the penny they had like some carbon fiber handle if thing if you to cut through your wife's bones that would be useful well, they had some saw through them they had some pre-brainwashed uh, <laughs> girl come out she was already pre-brainwashed and, sh- and gave us the whole routine of like what you're supposed to do when you meet the housewives yeah 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 there's a whole script yeah 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 it's very important you stick to the script they say mm. it's just like so I no never did improv, no going crazy with it's like you can you can make, he's like you can make it your own a little bit but when it's she, important you stick to the but script. the one thing you learn is that housewives are the most bored, <laughs> needing of human interaction people on the face of the planet. So yeah. the script goes right out the window. You just start talking to them when like she, normal people. When she happy to see you. When she time. read the script, was she kind of like, "Yes, I want your knives." Was she like very enthusiastic? Did she almost feel like an actor? But at the time, you're just kind of like. Uh, she was okay. I think that's why they brought her in because she she was one of their. She didn't feel better, like a stage performer. She was doing well at the time. She was in co- yeah, but yeah. So yeah, so she was she was there to convince us how to how to do this to the uh, the board housewives. Yeah, could you do it on me right now if I'm the housewife? Could you still know what it is? Shit. Zach is the housewife. We're all the housewife. Zach is the oh. housewife. Alright, alright, okay. Ding dong! Hello. Hi there. Hello. Hello. I'm Amanda from uh, Cutco. Get away from me! Rain! (laughs) Rain! Rain. He's got knives! (laughs) Steve, get the shotgun! What's what's, 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 uh, what's going on here? Oh, my husband left. It's a titty army. Well, I'm a, I'm a girl, oh, so... Oh, my uh, gosh, I'm so a lesbian. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't, don't you want to see our knives bitch. cut through pennies? I want to see you penis cut through knives. Well, I, I like cooking. I like you. cooking. I, what, How many live in this house? <laughs> Stop, you should have said. I've just earned the right to oh, sell you a spatula. <laughs> yeah, there's like four women in this house. <laughs> my breasts are the You can pull your wiener out and fuck off. like a Mormon family of five wives. I could sell, like, so I could I could sell like two grand right. with the knives in this so house. So I, 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 well. I am an exotic woman. Okay, you can yeah. hear it in my voice. Yeah. I I am looking for all sorts of knives. Yeah, pizza knives, bread well, knives. You're in luck. Fucking noodle knives. You what are the hell in is luck. a noodle knife? <laughs> like an action knife? Noodle noodle knife. <laughs> what do you got? Action <laughs> knives. Do you have a tiny little knife for cutting a noodle? <laughs> Just a noodle. Man. Yeah, one noodle. What kind of what kind of knives you got? Oh, we got the, uh... No, is it... What kind of knives do you got? What, what kind of knives, knives you got? Stick knives! Oh, oh, oh. Stick! I don't eat steak! I take oh, them all out! My husband makes steak! <laughs> well, good thing, because they can cut their steak into tiny little oh. pieces! Oh. Wow! Oh. 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 If you don't like that's your actually, husband, you can That's actually a pretty him. damn good like sale pitch. Like if somebody, yeah. if, if someone's like, I, I can't eat it. It's like, well, you cut it into yeah. microscopic pieces. pieces. Yeah. You just slide down your throat like noodles. Yeah, yeah. Not there you go. Ooh. See, uh, maybe, like I was, maybe I was an a- maybe right. I shouldn't have gone into that's animation a and did this. Oh, that's a very bad <laughs> one. <laughs> that's bad. This is Jeff. This is this is a role play hour. This is Jeff's story about fucking getting fucked. I was terrified. Yeah, so basically, the, when he pulled out the knives and he's like waiting for us to hand over our check of three hundred dollars, 
I, I ran. I ran out of the building. I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm just, did I'm just gonna like get the me? money from my mom. How I, fast I never did you run? Did you run away like how from Malcolm in the Middle? I didn't run. I walked. I walked. Did you, like did you walk proudly? No. Did you not? Give I a cowered. Fuck? I cowered. I, I, I ran like Gollum out of the did building. You took I'm your, like, <laughs> did you tuck your dick between your legs and walk yes, away? Yes. Yes. Okay. I did. Yeah, the I, was, I was ashamed. I was ashamed. You took your I even. I can't believe you. I felt there. tricked because I sat through like a day, like a day and a half of this show. No, because I did the same exact thing. Like I walked in there with the same thing. And